there. Welcome to Dungeons, Dragons, and Dreams. My name is Tally. How can I help you? I recognize that name. Oh, you're my five o'clock appointment. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, come back with me. To, back to my office. Okay, so... Let me just check your form. Okay, it looks like you paid online, which is good. That's one less step for us to do. And did you bring the jar that it would have said to bring online? Well, that's what we put the dream in. And then when you are ready to have the dream, you go home and you drink it. Yeah, we tend to prefer jars because, like, the glass holds the dream a little better. We're not sure why, but, like, metal water bottles or tumblers or things like that just don't work as well. They haven't produced as good of results as we would want, uh, just based on customer review and our own testing uh usually just a glass mason jar works the best oh good you did bring it fantastic um yeah go ahead just set that on my desk and we will get started so first of all how easily frightened are you Well, if you need a reference, uh, there is a chart just over there on the wall. Um, yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, go ahead and just read that as thoroughly or as quickly as you prefer. Um, and then just let me know, because, you know, it's just a scale of 1 to 10. Oh, well, by law... We have to make dreams that the dreamer can still wake up from, is the way I usually put it to clients, um, if they get too scared. Because some dream crafters will make a dream that is absolutely terrifying and infuse it with so much magic that the client can't actually wake up from the nightmare. And technically that's illegal. <laughs> so... Yeah, by law, I have to make a dream that you can still wake up from, but we keep that chart so that we keep it uh, under your level of scarability, I suppose is the best way to put that, just so that you can enjoy the entirety of the dream without being woken up halfway through because you were scared and then wasting the entire rest of it. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, and what sort of adventure are you looking to go on for this dream? Okay. Did you have any particular race and class that you would like to play? Elf, Triton, Dwarf, Half-Orc, Cleric, Fighter, Warlock, you know. I assume if you're coming to Dungeons, Dragons, and Dream Making that you already know a little bit about both Dungeons and Dragons as well as Dream Making. <laughs> I mean, technically... Our magic is called dream crafting in terms of like it's magic school, but everyone just calls it dream making as the casual term. Okay. Bold choice. I like it. Haven't had someone pick that in a while. No, no, no. That'll be... Just as easy as anything else. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, and did you have any preferred enemies that you'd like to fight? Are you sure? I mean, a beholder is a little bit higher in the terms of scarability than the number that you gave me earlier. Should I adjust your frightened number or would you rather not face the beholder? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that's definitely something that I can handle. <laughs> Trust me, I've been doing this for quite a while. <laughs> yes, my title within the company is still a DM, but instead of Dungeon Master, we like to call it the Dream Master or the Dream Maker, even though, again, we're Dream Crafters, but close enough. <laughs> well, I got into this business because uh, my friend is also a Dream Crafter, and he started this. And, uh, he just asked if I would be interested in creating things like this because he and I have been playing D&D together since, oh, probably high school. <laughs> okay, so I have your racing class, your preferred adventure type, your preferred enemies. Uh, with that heist, what sort of reward are you looking for at the end? Like a big pile of gold or are you looking more for like a person or okay okay yeah you know oddly enough we don't get a lot of heist requests most people just want to have a dream of them flying around and killing a dragon speaking of flying around do you want any magical items. Well, they'll function pretty much the same way as they would in the game, just it's a dream. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally can do that. Okay, let me, let me just look at the rest of this form and see if there's anything. All right. Um, let me just finalize some of this. Okay, last question, and this one's kind of important. Exactly how realistic do you want this dream? Because some of our clients cannot stand the sight of blood, and so they ask for a bloodless fantasy adventure, I guess is the best way to put it. So how realistic do you want yours? Okay. Okay, I think that is about everything that I am going to need from you. Uh, so if I could, if you don't mind, I am going to turn off the light. Um, and if I could have you unscrew the lid of that jar while I do so. Perfect, thank you, okay. Okay. Now, if you will close your eyes, 
I am going to go ahead and make that dream and then put it in the jar for you, okay? Perfect, thanks. Okay. 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 Almost there. You can go ahead and open your eyes now. Uh, unless you want to keep them closed while I turn the light back on. <laughs> okay, let me turn the lights on first. Okay, go ahead and open them. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the uh, dreams tend to look like a nebula in a jar when they are uh, fully formed. Usually we have our clients close their eyes while we make them because they look a little bizarre as they're brewing and we don't want to freak people out. Plus, I always love to see the looks on my clients' faces when they uh, <laughs> look at the nebula in the jar for the first time and actually see magic with a little bit of wonder still left in the world. I know to a lot of people, you know. Magic has become so common that people forget that it is truly something wondrous that we know almost nothing about, <laughs> except that most of us can use some of it in some way. So, uh, instructions. Take that home, and whenever you're ready to have that dream, go ahead and you can literally drink it like a glass of water. And... Try and drink it all within like an hour before you plan on falling asleep because once you've drunk the last drop, it will knock you out. And you should, in theory, have the best eight hour sleep you have had in a while. Because this is pretty potent dream crafter magic that should make your body just totally relaxed. So yeah, when you're ready, go home, drink it down when you're ready to go to sleep, and enjoy your dream. <laughs> yeah, and thank you so much for coming in. Have a good day. Good night. <laughs>